Hey, you guys, and welcome to the chapter three of the data structure and algorithms. So for this uh, chapter, we will be discussing about arrays. Okay. So I hope you guys already watched the chapter two. Because we're going to discuss further about the basic operations using, of course, the array. Okay. So for this video, we will be discussing what an array is all about and how, what is the representation of an array and then also with the basic operations. So let's start with an array. Okay, so what is an array? Array, this is a container which can hold a fixed number of items and these items should be of the same type. Most of the data structure make use of arrays to implement their algorithms. Following that are the important terms to understand the concept of an array. First, element. Okay, an element, each item stored in an array is called an element. And also we have this index. Each uh, location of an element in an array has a numerical index, which is used to identify an element. Okay, so again, um, why, do we, why do we need an array? Ganong important even si array? Okay, guys, imagine you have a lot of data. Okay, you, uh, you want to specify 100 data. No, uh, let us say 100 integers. So um, you specify in A, in B, in C, in D. Okay, so the, that single variable holds a single value. But in an array, it is a single variable that holds multiple values. So you can specify a lot of element, you know, a lot of element in a single variable. So that is how array works. That's why it's really important that you should also understand uh, why do you need to use an array? Because imagine if grabby kakadagdag data, where are you going to uh, store it? Okay. So again, an array is, is a container which can hold a fixed number of items. And uh, these items should be in the same type. So be mindful that it's an element, that it has an element, and of course, an index. So this is how you present it. So um, arrays can be declared in a various ways of a different language. For our next sample, I will be showing to you how you create an array using Python programming language. So as you can see in here, this one is the data type, the integer. This one is the array name. So your array name varies or it depends on you on how are you going to name your array. And then this one is the size of an array. So this is the size of an array, and then inside the curly braces is the elements or the values of your array, okay? Um, the, the elements index always starts to zero. So kung 10 ang imong value diri, you should count from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Taman lang ka nine because you include the zero, okay? So this one is the size 10 including zero so index starts with zero array length is 10 which means it can store 10 elements and each element can be accessed via its index let us say for example you want to access um 14 how are you going to access the number 14 is by calling its index what is the index of 14 it's four so uh, yeah i'll give you example later on so each element can be accessed via index for example, we can fetch an element at index six as nine. Okay. So yeah. Okay. What are the basic operations? As what I have said in the chapter two, we have this traverse. It can print all array elements one by one. We, we have this insertion. Insertion meaning adds an element in a given index. So of course, in here in an array, you can add kung asa ni mo gusto i-add. That's insertion method, okay? And next, we also have deletion. Deletion means remove, you know, remove an item. Search is to search an item. And update is updating an element, okay? So um, yeah, array is created in Python by importing the array module to the Python program then the array is declared as shown below. Okay, so in, in Python programming, all you have just to do is to 
from uh, use this one, you just need to declare it. So let me give you an example. Okay, so open your favorite IDE for me. Uh, I'm using PyCharm, so you can use also PyCharm. Let's try this different basic operations. Um, yeah, by, by the way, as you can see in here, the format in, in Python programming is defining its array name and then the array method and then the type code, then the initializers or the, the your elements here. So the type code is, let me discuss this. The type code, this one, or, or this one, okay? These are used to define the type of value that array will hold. B, or the lowercase b, represents signed integer of size one byte. The b with the uppercase b, unsigned integer of size one byte. The c is the character of size one byte. And the i represents signed integer of size two bytes. The l, yeah, I know it's a big i, sorry represents unsigned integer of size two bytes. The F represents floating point of size four bytes. And then the D represents floating point of size eight bytes. Okay, so para mas masabtan pagidin let's start with uh, creating an array. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I think I already have sample in here. Okay, so if you're first time using this one, just uh, let's try to create a new project. Okay, you create a new project, a uh, new window. It's creating a virtual environment. Okay, so this is how it looked like. Oh, wait. Let me remove this project one. Okay, so let's try to create our array and then try the basic operation. Let's try with the creating an array. Okay. So how are you going to start? Of course, you need to import your arrays. From import, oh, wait. Sorry, uh, from array, then import. Uh, asterisk means all, okay? And then next is to define your array name let us say uh, yeah just sample array name is equal to again just look on uh, how are you going to do it uh, look on the in, 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 uh, on the format so we have this array the type code and then the initializers so we have array and then we have this type code we're going to use um just choose you know what um, type code you're going to use uh, let's try to use the i or uh, represent signed integer of size two bytes so uh, yeah and then let's define it like uh, 20 30 40 50. So how many, how many elements we have? One, two, three, four, five. It's five. We have size five, okay? So let us say we want to display this one. Rex and array name. Let me say print tax. Okay. okay, let's try if it's working. Sorry, Okay, 
Okay. So um, if you want, when you run it in PyCharm, there is actually a run in here, and then the shortcut is. Oh, let me check if I'm recording this. The shortcut is Shift F10 for Windows. So as you can see, we have this array and then the array method, and then we specify the type code and then the elements. So as you can see, we have the here the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, okay? So instead na mag ano mo, instead na you declare it like A is 10, B is 30, C is 40, it will going to take you time, especially when you have a lot of values, okay? So how to prevent from doing this one is to use, wait guys, okay. is to use an array, okay? So yeah, let's move forward. If you want, how can you access the elements of an array? All you have to do in order for it to access is to um, use this format. No? You can just say, you, you call the array name and then the index that you want to access. Okay, so let us say for example, uh, let me just recess my window because I'm na to Okay, let us say you want to access 30. Okay, so you can say print. And then um, let us say index zero. What is index zero? Zero is 20, okay? And then concat concatenate, the concatenation of using Python is comma. And then array, array name. And then specify here, let us say zero. And also you want to access the index. Let us say one, two, three. Okay, I want to access to one, two, and three. So you can specify in here, one, two, three. I don't know if I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording. And then you run it. So as you can see in here, okay, para mas chada silang taon. This is how are you going to access it? Simple, right? Okay, as you can see we have this result. So that is how you access the element of your array. Next is the insertion operation. So in Python, you don't have to actually worry because we, we have this what we call insert method, okay? So in the, in, in the insert method, let us say, for example, let me remove this one. We want to insert something in here. This is the index zero, one, Two. Okay, so how are you going to do that? Um, yeah, just uh, use the insert method. Okay, so just call in the array name, the name of your array, and then the insert. And then you specify the index where you are go going to insert the, the, the element or the value. Let's say 0, 1, we'll insert here. So let us say 2. And then let us say or three, three. Okay, let's try this one. So as you can see, it's inserted in the index two. So it's zero, one, and two. Okay, zero, one, and two, so it's inserted here. Let's say you want to insert it in, in the first, in the first index, so that's zero. So um, yeah, actually in Python, it's, it's Kind of easy, other than in a program, other programming languages, and you don't to actually worry because there's already a method called insert, and then you specify the index, and then the value. So as you can see, it's in, in the in the in the index zero. Want to put it in the last one? The one, two, three, four. Let's say in the in the fifth index. So yeah, as you can see, it's in the fifth index. Okay. Next, we have this deletion. For the deletion, all you have just to do is to uh, use the remove, remove method, okay? Let us say you want to remove the 40 in, in our array elements. Okay, 
So as you can see in the result, uh, the 40 is being removed. Or let us say you want to remove 60. Okay, as you can see, the 60 has been removed in here. Okay, so that is how you do it in uh, removing or deleting. In updating, all you have just to do is to use this format, the array name, and then the index that you want to update. Let us say you want to update the index 3 to 7,000. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, the 50 should be 7,000. Right, that would be the effect, expected one. So as you can see in here, it's 20, 30, 40, and 7,000. It's in the R3, 0, 1, 2, 3. The 50 becomes 7,000, okay? So it's kind of easy. And how are you going to update an element? Oh, I think that's all. And so we're done with, with this chapter. So for this chapter, we define what an array is all about. So I hope you guys will now know how to create your first array. And then we also specify the type codes. So it, so in here, it depends on you what kind of type code you want to use, but be mindful that they have different, you know, sizes, different representations. Okay, so it's it's in, in, the, in the PDF presentation and these are the values that you want to specify for your array. So we also have defined how to, you know, how to access, how to um, insert, how to remove, and how to update, and also how are you going to display it, and the concatenation also. So those were the pretty basic guys. I'll be giving you some other examples about this one and uh, some problems that you're going to, you, you know, start practicing on how are you going to create an array okay so that's all for now because on the next chapters we will be dealing some other you know other operations to where we can apply more data structure and also we're going to create um, algorithms for the different certain problems um, pseudocodes and solutions to those given problems so i hope you guys have learned something about array and yeah, the, the basic um, array operations. And uh, okay, and see you on the next videos. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and have a great day.